There was a lecture entitled Nutrigenomics for Cancer Prevention on July 24, 2010, in Sapporo. The speaker was Dr. John Milner from the National Cancer Institute in the USA, and the presentation drew great interest from the audience. By having this presentation as a keynote lecture, the 18th International Congress on Nutrition and Integrative Medicine was held. The Congress has been called the International Symposium of the AHCC Research Association and the name has been changed this year to discuss integrative medicine from a global perspective. As integrative medicine is still largely overlooked in Japan, we hope that this international congress becomes an information center for integrative medicine in Japan, and also in other countries where integrative medicine is not popular. This event grows in attendance every year, and this year, more than 360 participants attended from 14 different countries and regions. With worldwide recognition, the Congress is officially supported by the Hokkaido Bureau of Economy, Trade and Industry. The International Congress on Nutrition and Integrative Medicine is one of the premier nutrition conferences that I have attended anywhere in the world. I am particularly impressed with the quality of the science and the number of research scientists from around the world who study AHCC and Oligonol and report very exciting findings. 22 scientific lectures featuring AHCC and Oligonol were presented by representatives from the Yale University School of Medicine, the University of California Davis, and other international institutions. So I have a study try comparison between uh, chronic hepatitis C taking AHCC and the placebo group. And we found that in the group that taking AHCC, there were some significant reductions in the hepatitis C virus and also significant reductions in the inflammation in the liver. Currently, I am focusing on the effects of oligonol on cognitive dysfunction. My study has just started and I intend to continue further. This growing body of research is helping to increase worldwide recognition of the nutraceutical compounds developed by amino up chemicals. We performed a study in healthy people um, who were getting, going to be immunized with influenza vaccine. Our results showed that it was a very small sample size, but our results showed that those individuals who consumed AHCC during the time of the study had improvements in some indices of immune function, including their T cells, where their number of T cells were increased, and one type of natural killer cells that's involved in killing virus-infected cells were improved with AHCC. 21 scientific posters were presented with enthusiasm. The poster session gave the opportunity for researchers to ask detailed questions and discuss with investigators. AHCC improved Crohn's disease symptoms significantly in animal models due to its prebiotic function. Moreover, it might also modulate the immune response. Therefore, it will be useful to combine those effects in modulating inflammatory intestinal diseases and also apply in other kind of autoimmune diseases. Well, we noticed that uh, oligonol, when topically applied onto mouse skin, uh, 
attenuate the oxidative stress and inflammatory damage. So it has uh, some potential for use as a cosmetic. Also, we found that oligonol that inhibits the skin carcinogenesis induced by UV, also attenuated the inflammation in the mouse colon. So it also has a cancer chemopreventive potential. At the end of the first day, attendants gathered at the reception, where researchers vividly exchanged opinions and information. During the reception, the award ceremony organized by the AHCC Research Association gave recognition to the most outstanding studies and researchers attending the Congress, including Best Research Award, Young Investigator Award, and Best Poster Award. During the second day of the Congress, the final presentation was followed by roundtable discussions designed to draw intensive debate on topics closely related to nutraceutical and functional food. This year's topics were distinctions between drugs and food and subsidies needs for a clinical case analysis. The International Congress on Nutrition and Integrative Medicine is achieving greater recognition and scientific importance every year. It has become a significant annual event for scientists and professionals dedicated to the nutritional supplement industry and its contribution to human health. This Congress will go on to become a leading authority in this field.